Speculation has grown that China's latest Type 076 amphibious warship, which will serve as a drone carrier and is capable of launching fixed-wing fighters, has begun testing its advanced electromagnetic catapult. The Type 076 is a new Chinese amphibious assault ship, also known as a drone carrier, that features an electromagnetic catapult system for launching both uncrewed and manned aircraft, including stealth drones like the GJ-11. Launched in December 2024, the Sichuan is a large, flat-top vessel designed for amphibious assaults and aerial operations, serving as a mobile command center for naval and air power projection. It is a technologically advanced evolution of China's Type 075 amphibious assault ships. The Type 076 has a full-length flight deck, an internal hangar, two large aircraft elevators on both sides and one small elevator at the front deck section. Type 076 is larger than the preceding Type 075 amphibious assault ship. The overall tonnage of the ship was estimated as 50,000 tons 49,000 long tons at full displacement by the Center for Strategic and International Studies, while Chinese state media state that the ship has a displacement of above 40,000 tons 39,000 long tons. The Sichuan, which is currently being fitted out at Hudong Zhonghua Shipyard in Shanghai, was pictured on Chinese social media with its state-of-the-art launch system pointing towards the open waters of the Yangtze River, rather than facing inward towards the dock. The photo, claimed to have been taken on Tuesday night, was circulated from Wednesday morning, capturing the shipyard and the vessel's bridge well lit, indicating activity during the evening hours. The Shanghai Maritime Safety Administration earlier issued a notice to mariners, designating a small rectangular no-entry zone from October 20 to October 29, directly in front of the shipyard's dock entrance. The warning stated that underwater activities would take place within the zone daily from 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. Given the size and location of the exclusion zone, as well as the repositioning of the vessel, it is speculated that the Sichuan has been conducting sled tests of its carrier's electromagnetic aircraft launch system AMOLs during the specified period. The sled test uses a heavy, wheeled metal carriage to simulate the mass and structural stress of an aircraft at full speed to evaluate the electromagnetic aircraft launch system performance. In each launch, the sled is ejected into the water. This suggests the underwater activities may refer to the recovery of the test vehicle. Earlier witness reports had shown the covers had been removed from the vessel's catapult and that a radar system had apparently been installed, signaling that the ship was ready for sea trials. The Sichuan is the world's first, and so far, only amphibious assault ship to have an electromagnetic aircraft launch system. Only the USS Gerald Ford-class aircraft carriers and the Chinese Type 003 aircraft carrier, the Fujian, are known to have operated the advanced system. Compared to ski jumps, the electromagnetic aircraft launch system could allow more frequent launches as well as heavier planes. It is also more energy efficient and flexible than the steam catapult used on most carriers of the US Navy, which enables the launch of different sizes of drones. Last month, the People's Liberation Army Navy released a video of three fixed-wing aircraft launched and retrieved by the Fujian, currently undergoing sea trials and expected to enter service very soon. The Sichuan, launched in December last year, has an estimated displacement of over 40,000 tons and is equipped with one catapult of the same length as those on the Fujian. The Chinese Navy has said the Sichuan would primarily be a drone carrier where uncrewed systems such as the GJ-11 stealth combat drones will be based. However, manned aircraft could still be operated from its full-length catapult and flat flight deck if required. Believed to be a naval variant of the GJ-11, the GJ-21 is expected to operate from the Type 076 Sichuan LHD after mock-ups of the drone were spotted on test sites representing the ship. China's GJ-21 UCAV was captured while flying overhead in what is considered to be its first clear image in flight. Believed to be a naval version of the GJ-11 Sharpsword UCAV, the drone is expected to fly off the Type 076 Sichuan LHD landing helicopter dock. 
The Sichuan itself is believed to have tested its MOL's electromagnetic launch system catapult for the first time late in October, ahead of harbor acceptance, with sea trials that could begin by the end of this year or at least in early 2026. The GJ-21 was also among the six new CCAs or UCAVs unveiled in the September 3rd parade, of which we identified and analyzed three aircraft. The Hongdu GJ-11 was similarly officially unveiled in the October 2019 parade, evidencing that it is meant to be an operational system, going by the PLA tradition of displaying in parades equipment it means to acquire. Chinese military aviation analyst Andreas Ruprecht, who shared the picture of the GJ-21 in flight, had previously identified the number 21 in two captures of the aircraft before the parade, and the actual truck-mounted displays during the show. He also designated the UCAV as the GJ-11J, which might denote the naval variant. It does therefore appear that the GJ-11's operationalization is being aligned with the CNS Sichuan LHD's harbor in sea trials. The conclusion that the LHD is meant to operate the jet is near unanimous, given that mock-ups of the UCAV have been seen at test sites representing that ship. The most striking and unmistakable feature seen in the image is the lowered tailhook, meant to connect with the arrestor cables while landing on the Sichuan. Ruprecht said in the post on X, as it seems, for the first time clear images of a GJ-21 in flight are posted and this one based on the still-installed Pitos has its tail hooked down. Meanwhile, Chinese accounts have shared a new picture of the Type 076 Sichuan's MOL's catapult test, showing the dummy weight used for the trial. The Sichuan, which is currently being fitted out at Hudong Zhonghua Shipyard in Shanghai, was pictured on Chinese social media with its state-of-the-art launch system pointing towards the open waters of the Yangtze River, rather than facing inward towards the dock. Speculation has grown that China's latest Type 076 amphibious warship, which will serve as a drone carrier and is capable of launching fixed-wing fighters, has begun testing its advanced electromagnetic catapult.